this video, I'm going to tell you about three life philosophies that have helped me a lot in my journey. And I think they can help you also if you start applying them. Now, although I consider them philosophies, really they are tactics that you can apply to your decision making such that you're able to make better decisions for the long term. In my opinion, decision making is the single most important skill that you can have simply because your life is a byproduct of all the decisions they end up making. All right, let's get to it. First philosophy or technique, you want to minimize regret in your life. So whenever you're thinking about decisions, especially if they're big decisions like related to career or relationships, one really good way to figure out whether it's the right thing for you to do or not is to think as if you're way older and picture as if much of your life has already passed and you look back on it and you have to think, which decision would you likely to regret less? For example, let's say you're thinking about switching your career and you are stuck in a job that you're not too passionate about, but you are thinking, okay, I probably should stay in it because I don't wanna take a risk. One really good way to decide is to think into the future and look back and say, okay, would I regret having stayed in that job and not just pursued what it is that I was interested in? Or would I be fine with it? Now, this is very powerful because it forces you to get out of this fear state that your brain puts yourself in whenever it's faced with big decisions. And you're thinking more of like long-term rather than short-term. Because in the short-term, things are always gonna get messy and things will be disrupted. And, and your brain doesn't like that. Your brain wants to keep things peaceful and nice. All right, so the second philosophy is called serendipity. And what serendipity basically means is just happy accidents. Now this way of thinking is especially important if you're someone who seeks novelty in things, if you're like um, in a stage in life where you'd like to get more exposure to things. And the key idea is, again, when you're making decisions, you want to make sure you're making decisions that increase the likelihood of you running into some form of happy accident. So you basically take more action. And one scenario of this is, let's say you find out that there's like a networking event and you want to go, but then part of you is like, nah, it's gonna be boring. But then part of you is like, no, let's just do it. And then you actually go to the event and you end up running into someone that gets you your next job. Or an even more extreme example is in that event, instead of running to someone who gets you your next job, you run into someone that you fall in love with. The idea behind it is to take more chances and to do more things in life. You'll indirectly and unexpectedly run into other things that will open up your mind to new things. And third, the last philosophy that I have adopted that I think has made a huge difference that I think could help you as well is the phrase, I can handle it. Now, the idea behind this is it's like an affirmation or self-suggestion where if you are, again, making some sort of decision and you're anxious and fear starts kicking in where you think you're not capable or you think you may not be able to do a good job, remind yourself, I can handle it. Just, it's gonna flash from your subconscious. You say it to yourself enough times, you can handle it. And just say, it, I can handle it. How nice is it? It's, feels nice to say it, right? I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. There's many things that I signed up for that I was not qualified to do, or I was not like prepared to do, or did not have the skills to do, but I had the belief that whatever was gonna throw get thrown at me, I can learn it in a short period of time and I can put a lot of work in it, put my heart into it and just figure it out. And that was almost always the case. So my first time doing undergraduate research, I had no idea what I was doing, but deep down I knew that I could handle it and I just went at it. And then likewise, when I went for my first internship, I was very scared and I was like, oh my God, is this gonna be hard? But then I said, okay, no, whatever it is, I'll figure it out, I'll learn on the job. And that's kind of the reality of the situation is that you should not wait until you're fully qualified to take on challenges and take on some tasks. You should just kind of jump on top of things and just, you can handle it. So to summarize three key ideas that if you can apply in your life, I think can make a big difference in your decision making is minimize regrets, take action and let life take place with its serendipitous gift. And then finally, tell yourself that you can handle it. And I believe that you can. But hey, before you click off, if you made it this far in the video, I wanna say, first of all, I really appreciate it. That means again, you get a lot of value from these videos and you're likely one of the coolest subscribers in this channel. But I need your help, I want you to help me. What kind of videos would you like for me to make? Would you like more technical videos related to electrical engineering or engineering in general? Would you like more career advice or would you like more of these kind of like mindset or philosophical videos, ideas? Would you like me to do more book reviews? I mean, there's a lot of things I really could talk about, but I think now in the channel, we've gotten to a place where there's a few, few people that have been watching the videos consistently and have been providing feedback. So yeah, please feel free to leave a comment with what you think and I would really appreciate it. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love.